in this video we are going to solve one more problem on newton's laws and the question is so the problem is this so consider a spring block system as shown in a figure initially at x is equal to 0 that is the equilibrium position and this is the equilibrium position at x is equal to 0 the block is at rest it means its initial velocity is 0 and a constant force f is applied to the mass m block system so find the maximum speed of the block and the maximum elongation in the spring so these two parts we have to find out so the question is and this uh, the surface on which the block is moving is smooth and consider that l naught is the rest length of the spring a constant force f is applied and at x is equal to zero initial velocity is zero and this is a, a stiffness constant of this spring is k so this is the whole problem so so first you should try it for, uh, from yourself and then have the solution so from here so first part is to write the equation of motion so for equation of motion we use newton's laws so newton's law says that f net is equal to mass time acceleration so this is a figure so consider at any instant of time uh, it is in when the block is in motion it is at this position consider that at x dash is equal to x position is this and the force it is a constant force f is applied on it and there will be a spring force which will be in this direction that is kx so from free body diagram this is the mass m a force f is applied on it and by spring force kx k times the elongation or the compression so i would like to discuss here the spring force spring force a spring force f is given times k times elongation e l o m sorry elongation or compression a spring time is not always f is equal to kx f is equal to kx is not always true unless and until x is the elongation or compression sometimes x is not the elongation or the compression so remember the spring force is always given by k times elongation or compression not f is equal to kx x if x is elongation or compression then it's always true okay so here the elongation is kx times so we have written like the elongation is spring has stressed from here to here from this to this point so the elongation is x so we write a spring force as k times x so from here the net force is in f minus kx and this is mass time acceleration so acceleration is acceleration is simply given by uh, the magnitude of acceleration is f minus kx by m similarly as we did problems in the last lecture here the force is constant k is constant and this mass is also a constant so these all are constant and the only variable is x x is a variable quantity so x being a variable the whole acceleration is a variable quantity so uh, in the previous class we have also discussed how to solve the variable acceleration problem so let us have let us have the solution of this acceleration so we have to find the maximum speed so first try to solve this so first let us solve for the maximum speed okay so acceleration is equal to f minus kx by m uh, as we have already discussed we can write a is equal to v dv by dx so replace this v dv by dx is equal to f minus kx by m so this is m v dv is equal to f minus kx into dx it is a simple differential equation let us solve it so integrating both the sides mv dv is equal to integration f minus kx into dx so now we have the position and the velocity with uh, integration 
see like when the max speed is maximum the question is at what position speed is maximum at when acceleration is zero so we have to find out that coordinate that x point where the acceleration is zero so that the speed is maximum so the net acceleration is zero implies that net force is zero net force is zero that f minus kx is equal to zero let us say that it is x naught that the coordinate at which the acceleration is zero is x naught so the position at which the net force is zero is f by k and this is the coordinate where the velocity will be the maximum so let us substitute the limit at x is equal to 0 your initial speed is 0 at x is equal to x naught which is f by k your velocity is going to be maximum so now have the let us have the solution for this equation so it will simply be or m v square by 2 within limits 0 to v maximum and this is f x minus k x square by 2 0 to f by k so this will be m v square maximum is equal to f square by k minus f square by 2 k this is f square by 2 k and this is also mv square by 2 so this will become so the final solution will uh, this 2 and 2 will cancel out so maximum velocity v square maximum is equal to f square by k into m implies that v maximum is equal to f by under root m times k so this is the maximum velocity which the block will have so now let us have the solution for the second part second part let us have the solution for the second part which was find maximum elongation so now we don't have to do uh, much in this question see we got from the differential equation that was uh, f minus kx times dx is equal to mv integration dv so for maximum elongation see at initial when x is equal to 0 its initial velocity as 0 so at maximum elongation some x is equal to let us say x max is the maximum elongation at this time the velocity was the final velocity v final will also be 0 uh, at the extremum the potential energy is maximum and the kinetic energy is minimum so from that concept so now let us have uh, the solution for the limit at x is equal to 0 its initial velocity was 0 its final velocity is also be 0 at x is equal to x map max maximum so this is f x minus k x square by 2 within the limits 0 to x maximum is equal to 0 so this implies that f x maximum is equal to kx square maximum by 2 so from here x maximum is equal to 2f by k so the maximum elongation in the spring is going to be 2f by k okay so let us have the conclusion of this problem so the conclusion is conclusion first part the maximum velocity comes out to be f by under root mk and second that the maximum elongation maximum elongation was f by 2f by k this was under the case when f is equal to constant Okay, so this was the solution now let uh, I'm not going to solve it here but from these results we are going to have a question so consider there is a spring block systems again but it is now it is an under gravity 
So this block is of mass m and the gravity is acting up in the downward direction. Okay. And it is it is at rest. It is held at rest. All the initial conditions are applied, held at rest at some initial position at x is equal to zero. Its initial velocity is zero. And it is then it is held free under this uh, gravity. Consider that gravity force is F times mass into gravity mg. So it is also constant force. It is also a constant force. So if in this problem, if we are going to have the same, if, if I ask the same question, what is the maximum velocity and maximum elongation in the spring under this condition where the uh, part, where the block is in under gravity motion. So force is replaced by uh, mg. So maximum velocity in this case, the maximum velocity is going to be f by under root mk because the initial conditions are held same. So this is mg by under root mk. So the maximum velocity is going to be under root m by k into g. So that's it. that is the maximum velocity of this and the maximum elongation, maximum elongation, maximum elongation is 2f by k. So this is 2mg by k. So see this, this I have not solved it, but this I have concluded from the above results. So this is one of the one can be considered as a good question. It is a very standard question that can be asked that find the maximum velocity and maximum acceleration. If at initially it was rest and it was under a constant force. So these two results are valid. I have not specified what this kind of force is. Any force which F is constant and the initial conditions are held that at equilibrium it is at rest. And it is and the motion is under the uh, constant force then the maximum velocity and maximum elongation are f by under root mk and 2f by k so this was uh, to, uh, so let us have end of this lecture so thank you and uh, we will come from more questions and more uh, problem solving skills in the next video lecture thank you